Hi, this is Pete from Trapster. Going to compare some uh, various location technology. How we're going to do this is uh, this page right here is able to do a Skyhook Wi-Fi location by itself. And then as far as the Google My Locations, I'm going to use Google Maps, and this BlackBerry does have a GPS on it, but um, when it comes up and asks me if it's okay to access the GPS information, I'm going to say no and then I'm just going to cause it to do a refresh on my location. So that's how we're going to get that fixed. And then um, as far as the GPS, what we're going to do is we're actually going to go into Trapster. And I've got this page here. This page is called Alertster. And basically it's doing kind of a, like a radar for traps uh, in a radius around this location. This is where it thinks we are right now. So what we're going to do is we're just going to actually enter a trap that's not a real trap. I'm just going to put in speed camera traps and then I'll delete them out of the system later. It's just a convenient way to mark where GPS thinks we are and that way we can compare it to where we actually are on the map. And then I'll just go ahead and copy that into this new page that we're using to record uh, the various different kinds. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, so this is my actual location here. I'm going to enter it as group one just for the purpose of keeping track of, of which data points are supposed to go together. And now we'll get the Skyhook location. We're going to let Loki do its locate, and you can see it's off by a little bit. We'll see how much in just a bit. Okay, and we can see that these are several hundred yards off. Okay, this is where Google My Location thinks we are. So Google thinks we are right here. Okay, so here's our Alertster page, and what we're going to do is we're just going to say report a speed camera at the current GPS location this BlackBerry thinks it's at. And there we go. That's the GPS location. Okay, so looking in the hybrid view, we can see exactly where the GPS on the BlackBerry thought we were located. Okay, drag this right to where that other one showed. And this is the GPS location. Okay, so now we've got the four data points for the first group. Let's go on to the next location. I call this the poor man's GPS radar detector. I've got one of these 3G cards, and uh, so I'm connected to the internet, and this thing is actually tracking me as I drive. And uh, we can hear in the background that uh, Trapster running on the BlackBerry is chirp, chirp, chirping because it sees those two same traps. But this is just giving a visual display. So, you know, as far as the usefulness of this, I'm not really sure that, um, you know, that it makes sense to get a big suction cup and stick a PC to your dashboard and use this. This is the next location in here. These are uh, homes that are maybe about four years old. And so they're certainly old enough where uh, people have um, access points in them. Um, but anyway, we'll just uh, go ahead and test it and see how we do. Okay, for the first uh, data point in group two, we're going to enter the Skyhook location. I clicked on Loki Locate Now, and Loki thinks we're right there. Uh, so we're going to report that location. Okay, now also for the second uh, physical location, we're going to go ahead and report another fake speed camera for the GPS. Okay, and that's where GPS thinks we are, so we'll enter that in with GPS and group two. And that is exactly where we are. So that's the actual location. Okay. Our actual location is kind of up here where these where this fork in the road is, and Google My Location is still showing us the same location. So there's Google My Location for the second group. Okay. Great, so let's go on and get the third data points. Okay, so here's our poor man's GPS radar detector while we're en route to get our third set of data points. And you can see it's got us right at this intersection. You can see that the GPS version here of Trapster running on the BlackBerry is chirping away to warn us about this red light camera. Ah, there it is. Red light camera right at this intersection up here. Yeah, there's the intersection that has it. And there's red light camera right there. As you can see, there's not really much around. We're gonna go ahead and pull in up here right behind these trees. I don't think you can see it. There's a uh, shopping mall. And there's also a assisted living, uh, kind of like a senior uh, citizen home right up here. And sure enough, there it is. We got a fix. All right, so I'm just gonna pull in here and find a safe place to park and take the third set of data points. Okay, so we'll enter the Skyhook location for group three. Okay, and then for our actual location, the store is right there, and uh, this road right along here is this one that goes right down there, and we're so we're right in a parking spot 
uh, just about right here. Uh, this picture shows a construction trailer right there. Uh, it's a satellite photo that was taken a few years ago, but that's the correct actual location. Okay. Again, report a bogus speed camera. Okay, so we are really in this parking space, and GPS thinks we're kind of in that one right back there. GPS says we are right about there. Okay. And Google My Location is still saying where it originally said when we were at my house. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. Um, I just made a phone call because um, I got a message while I was doing this video. And uh, then I went back to Google My Location using the exact same method. And now it's got me in a different place. And I'll tell you, I did this the other day and it put me right at the tip of my thumb. It was uh, locating, actually, if you can see across the street over there, just over to the left-hand side of the street. So um, it's not very consistent. It's, it's got some pretty huge variations in where it thinks I am. Uh, I was in this exact same parking spot yesterday when I did it. But, uh, oops, and look at that. So it's changed uh, just in the matter of while I'm talking on this video. And uh, it does appear that taking a phone call changes the cell tower triangulation. So here is the third Google My Location data point. Okay. Okay, for the fourth location, we're gonna go ahead and pull into this uh, little strip mall right here and uh, it's got a bunch of businesses around and uh, it also has a Starbucks. We're not getting a skyhook fix at all here. I'm, I'm in this parking space. If I just drive and park over here, I bet then I get a wireless fix. So let's try that. Pulling from behind this bank and there is a Starbucks. You can see those two people walking out of it and we do not have a fix yet. Okay, right there you can see the Starbucks coffee sign. Okay, well it's hopping back and forth between getting a fix and not, so maybe I'm just going to try to move a little bit closer. I'll just pull up into those parking spots right there. Maybe it's just a little bit too weak of a signal. Okay, so still right here, all I did is move up a little bit, and sure enough, that was enough. It got me uh, just maybe out of the way of some cars and uh, a little bit closer. So now we've got a fix, and uh, let's go ahead and enter in uh, the data points for our fourth group. Okay, reporting the WPS location. Okay, Google my location for the fourth data point. Hmm, that's interesting. It's very close to where uh, the location was for the third data point. It's actually moved down a little bit. So it thinks we are kind of, if you can see that mountain behind that building right there, if we went along a little bit toward the west, that's where uh, this uh, thinks we are. So, Okay, so let's put in Google my location for the fourth data point. It was right about there. Okay. Anyway, let's go ahead and, our, and uh, report our uh, bogus uh, speed camera. Okay. That shows where the BlackBerry uh, thought the GPS coordinate was. For group four, GPS location is right about there. That point on that bank right up there is right there. So we are, and maybe it's in that parking spot. Okay, so I'm back home now, and here are the 16 data points uh, for each at uh, four locations. Where the first group had our actual location here in this driveway. GPS, as reported through Trapster Mobile, put us very close just next door. Wireless positioning system had us down the hill, maybe a few hundred yards away. And then Google My Location had us probably about a mile away. For the second group, we were parked in this little turnaround thing here, so the actual location is this bubble. GPS, as reported by the Trapster Mobile client, put us maybe 50 feet of that. Wireless positioning system put us maybe 100 yards from that. Google still uh, reported us being right there. For the third group, our actual location is right here. GPS, as reported by the Trapster Mobile client, put us maybe only 30 feet from it. Wireless positioning system put us at about 100 feet. And then Google My Location had us at this upper green bubble right here. So, and this is the actual location. So that's, uh, that's gotta be a couple of miles. For the fourth set of data points, our actual location was right here. GPS, as reported by the Trapster Mobile client, was again only about 30 feet away. The wireless positioning system put us right here, uh, maybe about 100 feet away. And then Google My Location had us almost where it did for the third group, south of this lagoon right here.